Coach, just start from, let me start from the back. What happened there in the handshake line with you and Coach Otzelberger? Uh, none, we just talked about, n n nothing happened. We talked about a situation that took place during the game and he said he would check into it and I told him thank you and went on. I love TJ, great job, great. Uh, what an unbelievable environment out there. You know, uh, he does a great job, his team is tough. They, they play together, they're fun to watch, no fun to play against. <laughs> You know, I um, have, have all the respect in the world for him, what he does with his program, and I appreciated him hearing me out, and, uh, and he said he would check into it. What was the situation that you raised? I'd let, I'll let, keep that between me and TJ. Uh, yeah, sorry, Jerome, but we saw you clearly pointing into the stands or something, very agitated there for a few minutes in the second half. Can you explain at all what Got your attention there and what had you upset? No. I mean, I, I know you saw what you saw, but I'm not going to talk about it. So if we want to talk about the game, I'm more than happy to talk about the game. And uh, TJ and I will, 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 will figure that part of it out. All right, fair enough. Um, how, what was the diff most difficult part about just coaching a game where there's so many fouls on both sides? Um, well, our second half defense, um, was pretty good, you know, and I thought our first shot defense in the second half was really good, and for the most part, I thought we did a decent job on the glass. It's just impossible to defend the free throw line, and so um, that's what makes it difficult. Um, in the second half, you guys shot it much better than you did in the first half. What do you think kind of led to more success and just shots falling in the second half compared to the first? We were more aggressive. Um, also, like, you know, in the first half, their defense is in front of their bench, and so they hear our calls and they can communicate with their players. And um, I just thought they were just way more aggressive than us to start the game. I mean, they took us out of the stuff we wanted to do. They were physical um, in, a, in a good way. Right, and uh, we, we didn't respond well in the first half, I was, but I was pleased with how we responded in the second half. David picks up that foul with roughly two minutes left, and then you get a technical. In that moment, I know there's a lot of frustration with how the game plays out, but when the game ends, do you look back and say, that was a bad time to get that? Yeah, I wasn't. I, I wasn't trying to get a tech. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I just thought it was a bad call, and I waved my arm. Um, with the intensity of that game and that moment, I would think that um, uh, we would all be given a little grace in that moment, right? Uh, because and let the players decide on the floor. So that was my fault, right? Because I waved my arm. I'll make sure I don't wave my arm next time. Considering the physicality of the game and the way it played out, and maybe some of the emotions peaking at different times, whether it's pointing into the crowd or things going on on the court. How do you feel like this officiating crew handled tonight's game, keeping it all together? They, they have a really tough job to do, and those guys are all veteran guys that really care about their craft and do uh, as good of a job as, as they can do. What would you say is the, the cause of how you guys fall back into the game and had a fast start to the second half? Uh, the fast start to the second half and made shots. and. You know, that, that, that helps. But our, our aggressiveness, like we were just, we were more us in the second half um, and handled their physicality better in the second half than we did the first. Cam, how tough was it to get into a groove after being on the bench for most of the first half? Uh, it wasn't tough at all. Uh, you know, we, we, we practiced that way. Uh, you know, we on the road and, you know, we had to prepare for this. And, you know, I was prepared. And, you know, my teammates, you know, they kept me positive while I was on the bench. And, you know, it turned out good for me, I guess. Jeremiah, I know dealing with foul trouble is always a challenge, but how did you manage Cam's minutes when he picks up two so fast? Uh, yeah, normally I try not to foul guys out in the first half myself, you know, um, by keeping them on the bench. Uh, we, I felt like we were close enough, like that instead of risking him getting the third one, you know, now we're really in trouble in the second half that we could keep him there. And then they went on a spurt that kind of stretched it 
on us. Um, but that being said, um, you know, we, we were able to have him for the whole second half. And so I don't, I don't regret like what, what I did in the first half because he was able to be more aggressive in the second half. Uh, just, uh, we just have to do a better job of um, not having pick up two that early. Like if he had picked up the second one like at nine minutes, then you're like, okay, sit him for three, then get him back in for short spurts. But the fact that it was four minutes into the game, you know, it's just it was too much of a risk. And, and Cam, what was your mentality coming into the second half? What did you want to bring to the game when you did get in there? Uh, toughness. You know, I feel like, you know, uh, our team was a little, you know, timid and holding back. So, you know, I thought if I brought toughness, you know, my team would follow. And uh, Arthur, what do you think you guys showed in the second half? Uh, how we, I mean, I feel like we didn't show anything different. I mean, that's how we play basketball. We just got to be able to do that and maintain that for the whole game instead of just one half. Coach, what are your thoughts about, about the Big 12? Man, that's great. It's the best basketball league in the country by a long ways, right? And uh, uh, we have unbelievable road environments. Right? This, is, this is incredible. To, to win a game on the road is really, really hard, as you can see. And um, there are going to be teams in our league that will have a higher seed in the NCAA tournament than they do in the Big 12 tournament. And I, I believe any team in our league that goes nine and nine should be in the NCAA tournament. And uh, it, it's a blast uh, to play in. It's no fun losing, but I mean, you know, when, when you think of being a coach in a league, this is the league you want to be in against the best coaches in the country, best fan bases in the country, and best venues in the country, and, uh, and the best players in the country. And so I'm blessed to be here and thankful for it and excited about the rest of the season.